Guys, Mr. Bowman here. We are looking at 2.7 calculus methods in this video, and it's going to be the first series of videos where we look at 2015, 16, 17, 18 exams, and we're going to have a focus on those achieved questions only. Um, let's get straight into question number one. Question number one, a function is given by the this equation, so x4 plus x, 2x squared minus 5x. We've been asked to find the gradient at the point where x is equal to minus 1. So the first thing to note, we've got the original equation, but we've been asked about the gradient. So we need to differentiate to be able to find this. So let's write down our initial equation. So there's fx. That is x to the power of 4 plus 2x squared minus 5. To differentiate, hopefully you recall this, we've got f dash x. So that dash there stands for the gradient function. Let's just figure out the gradient. We are going to go, there's an invisible 1 out front here. It's going to be 1 times 4, gets us to 4. And we're going to reduce the power by 1. So that's going to be 4x cubed. Same here. We're going to times the number out front by the power. 2 times 2 is going to get us to 4 as well. Plus 4, and then we're going to reduce the power by 1, which will get us x to the power of 1. That 1 is invisible. We don't actually need that. And that 5 or minus 5 that just goes away. So there's our gradient function. That'll let us figure out the gradient at any point. And what we've been told is x is equal to minus 1. So what we're going to do, we're going to go f dash minus 1 is equal to 4, and then minus 1 cubed plus 4 times minus 1. So minus 1 times minus 1 times minus 1 is minus 1. And then minus 1 times that 4 is going to be negative 4. And then, same here, we've got 4 times minus 1. That's going to be another minus 4. Putting those together gets us to minus 8. So that means at that particular point, we've got quite a steep downhill point. It should be going downhill um, for every 8 unit it goes across 1 unit. Okay, we're now looking at question number 2. The gradient function is given by f dash x equals 4x minus 3. The point 4, 6 lies on the function, not the gradient function, but on the function. Find the equation of fx. Let's get down our gradient function. So f dash x is going to be equal to 4x minus 3. And we're looking for the original function, which means we're going to have to integrate this. So we're trying to find fx. Hopefully you remember your integration. Just a reminder, we've got an invisible power of 1 on that x there. So we're going to go the number up front divided by the power plus 1, x power plus 1, and then we're going to go minus 3x plus c. And that plus c is what's going to be annoying in this one. So let's simplify that up a little bit more. So that's 4 divided by 2. That's going to be 2x squared minus 3x plus c. And this here is going to be our equation. So you kind of think it is y equals this. This time around, we're using fx. Now, we've been given a point, the point 4, 6. And at this particular point, we know that x is going to be equal to 4. And we know that y is going to be equal to 6. We're going to substitute that into this equation. We can then figure out what c is equal to. So let's put that in. Just a reminder, this fx is equal to y. So that's going to be 6 is equal to 2, 4, squared minus 3 times 4 plus c. And we can see that c is the only variable left. We can go ahead and solve for it. So let's go ahead. So 2 times 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. Times that by 2 is 32. 3 times 4 is 12. So we're going to have 32 minus 12 plus c. That's going to get us to 20 plus c. And at this point here, we're just going to go minus 20 minus 20. So c will be equal to negative 14. And at this point here, a lot of people stop going, oh man, I'm amazing, I finished this question. But we've been asked for the equation. Make sure you state the whole equation. So therefore, fx is going to be equal to 2x squared minus 3x minus 14. So we've added in that minus 14 to finish up our answer. Okay, we're up to our final question, question number three, and the velocity... So straight away, that word velocity is suggesting kinematics. 
um, the velocity vms minus one of an object t seconds after it passes a fixed point can be modeled by the function. So here's the velocity function. We've been asked to find an equation for the acceleration. So just a reminder for these um, velocity or these kinematic type questions. You've got your displacement up the top, and when you differentiate, that gets you the velocity. And when you differentiate that, that gets you the acceleration. Just a reminder, if you're going in the other direction, you're integrating. But this time around, we're going down the chain. So we've been given the velocity, and we've been asked to find the acceleration, which means we need to differentiate this equation. So let's write down our original function. So the velocity in terms of time is equal to 4t cubed minus t squared plus 2t. The acceleration is what we're trying to find out. That's going to be equal to the derivative of the velocity, and that's going to be 4 times that 3, which is going to be 12. So 12, take 1 off the power, t squared, minus 2t plus 2. The last question was probably one of the easiest achieved questions we can get because it was really just differentiate this, which doesn't happen too often but it was hidden in that kinematics. So you do need an understanding of kinematics and how this chain um, of differentiation or integration, depending on if going if up or down, works. So thanks so much for watching, guys. That was the first video. Keep an eye out on the other videos coming up about the interview questions.